Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. Today I got a real quick video for you. I went to a thrift store, just one, and had a really good haul out of there. And it's at a store that I don't normally go to. It's in the kind of a seedy area of town. I don't go through that area too often, except for when I'm stopping at a friend's card shop. And it's about a mile and a half from there. So it was on the way, I figured I'd stop in there and I'm glad that I did because I found a lot of good stuff. And I figured I'd just show it to you real quick because I don't have a lot of sales to go over today. I sold one item, so we're not even going to really talk about my sales day. I think because of the election, maybe, that uh, people weren't buying yesterday and really haven't today so far. Sales will get back on track. So we're just going to talk about this thrift haul. about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. Uh, first off, we're going to go with these because it was actually the first item that I found. Both of these are dinosaurs. These are dinosaurs. And they both have the JP logo on them, the Jurassic Park logo. And that's what you wanna look for in these dinosaurs. Now, they weren't marked on the shelf, but I just threw them into the cart, figured I'd find out later. The bad thing is you can see they got some like dangly arms on these. So yeah, they're not working too good. This guy doesn't wanna stand up, but they're still fairly expensive figures. This is the one that has like the wound in the side I think is how they describe it and this one has a button but it doesn't do anything I'm just gonna list the two of them together and see what I get they charged me a dollar for the pair I'm still thinking I'm, I'm gonna get 15 20 maybe even 25 because this one seemed like it was doing pretty good I don't really know yet I just did a quick little search for wound dinosaur for Jurassic Park and decided I'd get them we're not editing I'm just gonna keep going through this was, we're just gonna go in order down here. Uh, if you watched, you saw that I sold, sold, sold one of these Hailfire Nerf Elites. So it says Hailfire here. I picked another one of these up like a week or two ago, but it didn't have these blue shields on there. So I still need to find those. This is a really good dart blaster. It's actually battery operated. So you have to like hold down this button and then do that to fire and then this changes the magazines in there and it holds eight of them. It's a pretty good one. I think I sold it for like $60 plus shipping on Amazon. I think I ha uh, might've had it dual listed for like 40 on eBay. So much better on Amazon. Make sure they work. They're a lot of fun to test. You get about 40 darts, put four or five in each one and shoot the heck out of your couch or whatever you wanna shoot. And uh, yeah, this is a good dart blaster. All right, this next one I thought was really neat. It is a old box of Gimbel's hard water soap. Now, the bad thing was is they wrapped it in tape. I hate when Goodwill wraps stuff in tape because no matter how careful you are, of course the spot that it got some tape rash was right over logo. Not up here, it was right here. And I was doing it very carefully. Unfortunately, it still ripped. Now it was only $2.49. And if you look, this box is mostly full. It doesn't smell horrible, it smells like old soap. But this originally had, I think, 12 bars in there, and it's got 10 of them. Oops, one of them's used. I will not sell that one. I will take that bar and throw it away. So I will have nine bars of soap, and there was none of these with a box out there, only a couple that had individual bars. So I gotta do it again, a little more research. I really looked up very little of this stuff, knew I was buying some good things, so price was right, $2.49. Next, I got a Minecraft torch. I've had pretty good success with these. Uh, I've sold them in my booth for like 10 bucks. And I think on eBay, they even go for like $15 and maybe to $20. But the last couple I've bought did not work. I've bought some where the batteries inside were good. There's just a little button you press here and this lights up. Uh, this one, I don't even think it has batteries because it's kind of light. If it works, it's, you know, 10, 15 bucks and it was $2 and 49 cents. Next is this little crochet kit. I've actually been finding quite a few of these. I think they were popular last year as gifts and a lot of people just ended up donating them. I have another one in my booth right now and I think it's princesses or something, but this one is for Star Wars. You can make BB-8 and a Jawa. So you can make the Jawa right here and BB-8. It's a cool little kit, $5.49. And I think I put them in my booth for like 15. All right, this one I got in flight to check out. This is an older Peanuts inflatable Christmas. That's what it looks like right there. And these are made by Jemmy. I looked on Amazon. There's none of these right now. This is used. I looked it, looked inside and it was a little bit dirty, but you know, not a big deal. So I'll plug it in. If it fills up and it uh, holds air, then I think I'm going to get some good money for this. 
Next, I just bought one of these little, this is a license plate frame for Fletcher Jones Toyota Scion. And actually, I don't even know where that is. I don't know if that's Arizona or if it's somewhere else. But a lot of these license plate frames with certain dealerships and certain brands can bring decent money anywhere from 15 to 20. And I've seen them sell for up to 40 and 50 for certain ones. So I picked it up for 349. Again, with all this, I use my 20% off coupon. So you always got to take another 20% off the price that's on the sticker. Two items left. Uh, I bought an old phone. Yeah, he taped it shut for me because he wanted to make sure that it didn't fall out while he was packing it up. This phone was only $3.49. I bought it basically for the color because it was the old yellow one. It is a push button, it's not a dial. They did have a dial one, but it was a little too beat up for uh, my liking. So I went ahead and got this one and saw that comps are probably in that $25 range. And it had a good cord. The other two ones that they had that were vintage did not have good cords. And the last item, and what I think is the best one because it's still brand new and factory sealed. Lego Toy Story Duplo set, brand new and sealed. For sure sale at this holiday time. I don't, again, I don't know what it's worth. My guess is it's gonna be minimum of 20 and we'll go up from there. $5.49, take off that 20%. So we got 10 items. I paid, I think it was $32 total. I rounded up my change, make it 32 even. And this is what I got. And I think I might have a couple hundred bucks worth of stuff here. So, all right, that's it for today. Like I told you, it's gonna be quick and easy with very few, if any, edits. So thanks everybody for watching. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. See you next time.